3.30 on Tuesday afternoon, so we're lucky in the fact that we get to start a little bit earlier than Wednesday morning. Um, what we're going to try to do today is get the server stood up and possibly start imaging it, depending on how tired we are by this evening. Um, tomorrow morning we'll do the tour of the office. Okay. So. Welcome to Malawi. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Welcome to Malawi, gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Yeah heard here the most is about their bandwidth and you can see from trying to upload a small word document to the PCFS share has taken 20 to 25 minutes so far and it's still not done so bandwidth really is a problem here in any apps going forward that don't take that into consideration are probably not the best suited for the Africa environment uh, so Van Dunson how did it go today uh, it went pretty well. Actually, this refresh is going very smoothly. Uh, we completed the volunteer workstations today. We had a few blue screens, about five or six, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we have a note on which ones they were. But a couple of users that had um, too much data, so we had to work with them to get that straight. Um, we had one user that had a long, extra long file name, so we had to run that to get that straight. Um, but so far, so good. The network is really slow. This is all the equipment going to the remote site for a standalone remote office. Van has offered to go and help Bendili set it up, and I'll be on this end making any changes they need here. Right, so we got Van and Bendili back from Desert. Yeah, Desda, the remote site, basically. They were down there yesterday setting up the remote site. And um, Van is feeling, how much better are you feeling today, Van? I'm feeling 100% better than I did yesterday, <laughs> but I still feel bad. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. So. We're not, neither of us, together maybe we're running at 100%, but that's just 50% each. Exactly. Um, ben Dilly, tell us how it went yesterday. Uh, uh, it wasn't fun yesterday. <laughs> anyway, uh, when we got there, the first thing we did was um, to remove the uh, the old workstations and replace them with new ones. And while we were doing that, Van was uh, backing up documents from the uh, from the old server onto an external disk. Say that, say that again. They had suggested that uh, because of policy that the drivers are not supposed to drive at night, that we spend the night down there. But the way I was feeling last night, we yeah. spend the night down there. And <laughs> take so, a taxi back first. Yeah, I'd, took, I'd walk back because yeah. that's how bad I was feeling. So yeah. we made it back safely, uh, got the computers unloaded, and everything went well. Good. Well, <coughs> you guys, I think y'all did a lot of work yesterday, did a good job at it. So. Um, so to recap some of the issues we had, we did do the training, the uh, opening staff meeting this morning. We're in good shape with that. Uh, the blue screens of death happened on about six different machines, and we're hoping, well, that will work itself out over time, but it's just a short-term annoyance. Um, we're going to be going around putting some second monitors for people who didn't get the larger monitors. So that's a nice perk of this system, the ability to hook up that second monitor. That's yeah. Cool. Um, how does this system feel compared to the SBS system? Does it feel more complex, or does it feel like it'll be easier for you to manage? Um, I don't think it will be a big problem. Um, mm. Though there are certain things that are different, like the, uh, the virtual servers and stuff.
All right, so basically here we have our server set up. This is day one, um, Wednesday, August 9th. We've done the uh, tour of the office. Now we're gonna do uh, the setup, uh, imaging the server. This is the external hard drive. Okay, we have the twin UPSs. When it's set up correctly, we'll have, uh, when we're set up in the office, we'll have them uh, hooked up together right now. I keep them separately for um, ease of transportation. We have a switch, which we plug the uh, server into. And if we, were doing, we're doing, if we were going to be doing desktop imaging, we would have desktops connected to that. We're not going to do that here. Instead, we're going to do it over the weekend. We brought up the UPS and the server this morning. The computers have been placed at the station. And as soon as the CD returns from the embassy, we will go and chat. Say goodbye, Graham. Bye, smart start. It's excellent. Hello. We're doing networking. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, we're trying to install as much as things, as many things as we can in the actual server rack to save space. Um, we're also going to rearrange in here, so try and get rid of these tables so that we have, so we can get around things. Because right for now, for now, for example, it's really difficult to get around the server. Uh, this big UPS is being replaced by two smaller ones, which we're going to fit at the bottom of the rack. And maybe try to see if we can fit the server in there as well, so it's all consolidated in one place. Pull the tables out, and then we have all of our cables are managed in one place, and so we can go around and work on the back of the server, front of the server, um, just overall better out, better looking arrangement. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're um, oftentimes uh, refreshes. We have to do some rejiggering of the server room. So right now, at the voice over IP lines, and moving them out of the way. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the server in the rack. Or actually, next we need to remove, we're going to plug all this, remove it, probably put the, this is for the, uh, so this is the satellite router, we'll put it up here. Which, which is the satellite router? This right here. Okay. This is the old router, Okay. Cisco router. We'll remove that. We're going to put the new router in the rack. This old UPS is going to go away. We're going to move this table out. I'm going to see if the, I can remove the back of the server rack. And we're going to put the new server in here so it's not on these tables, take up a lot of space. We have a good before and after. This is the after. Um, a few hours work. Got the tables out, got everything in the rack, nice and pretty. We're going to put a small table here just for uh, so I can work. Um, for the next week or so, but after this, pretty much everything will be done remotely through uh, Jingo's uh, PC. So we still need the monitor, we still need the mouse and keyboard. They'll be here, but you don't have to use them very often. We'll try to make them a bit more. Uh... So just one more quick video of the server room. It's Friday. We are heading out Monday afternoon to go home. Everything looks in order. The routers. Routing, switches are switching, UPS is protecting, we have two of them here, and this is, I will say again, one of the nicest server rooms I've seen at any post. It's, uh, it's in good shape. So George, I just wanted to uh, say thank you very much for working with us, and uh, it's been a real adventure, it's been a real fun trip. Um, anything you want to say about the refresh? Well. I just want to say it was an exciting and resourceful experience, and I'm glad that you guys came. Oh, thank you very much. It's been a, it's been great working with you. Your server room is awesome, and I think things have been really smoothly, have gone smoothly here. So thanks. All right. Thank you. All right. Zambia. We've yeah, in Zambia. Welcome, welcome to Lusaka. Thank, Thank you. you. Koi, Thank this you. is Lusaka. And we're in the server room. Okay. I can yeah. show the aircon. <laughs> yeah. And the old server. Or what do we call the old server, old in, server. A, in, in a day or two? <laughs> <laughs> and the new piece. <laughs> right, it's on. Here it is. It's 5 o'clock on Saturday uh, evening. 
Mail is flowing. We're getting the desktop set up with the desktop uh, worksheet configuration. So, so far so good. We have a few more to go. We got a couple of glitches we got to go back and fix when mail wasn't working. We got to go log in and download the mail for each user. Um, but it's about 10 or 15 we have to do. Got maybe two or three more workstations to set up and that should take care of the clients. So, Okay, now walking down to medical and programming office. <laughs> Delayed by one hour because a member of staff just decided to lock up the place again when we say they should not lock up for the weekend and that they shouldn't actually come to the office so that we can work without being disturbed. Anyway, we have the keys now and we can continue with our work. Um, I've got the name sure. Okay. I'm going to start with D. Um, but we still don't have public folders. Okay. Okay, so that's what I'm going to concentrate on is getting the public folders off the old machine, onto the new one. What I need him to do, what I need you to do, mm -hmm. him, Yes. Cameraman. Yes, please. Is to um, set the office permissions. First of oh, all, to yeah. make sure all the groups are right, right and then right. to set office permissions. Okay. Office is copying over onto file server now, so it's almost done. Mm -hmm. um, there is a fair amount of data mm -hmm. uh, that did not get copied over because of long file names. Okay. Oh, okay. So we need to look at that. I've got. I've saved the log, and you can look it over, or we can share it with programming staff. It's mostly pro. All right. Yep. So it is printing from oh, that no it from is. that one. Um, someone said that this one was moving particularly slowly. It is slow. Okay. As far as the internet. Okay. Is this heater on down here? Okay. We got a bunch of wires. <laughs> yeah. <good. laughs> So this is the inside of the server, okay. and um, we're going to rearrange some cards here okay. to get it in the same order to match our build servers, so that mm -hmm. when the image goes on to this, it finds the cards in the correct right, slots. To be. Exactly. Okay. We've got an add-on eSATA that's going to go right in here okay. on this slot, mm -hmm. and then this is going to move to slot five, and this is going to move to slot three. Okay. So we're packed up to go, leaving Zambia. This is their new configuration, new UPS, old P UPS over in the corner, disconnected, waiting to be surplused. A couple of new switches. The refresh has gone very well and I'm happy that we have new computers with the, the new Word 2007. It's great. I love it, and uh, it's helping. It, it's helping me a lot in uh, uh, working on some of the documents very fast. And I also like our workstation because they've given us a new scanner, which is a very fast one. And also the printer that has come, the color printer. We are printing a lot of documents from there, especially certificates and all in color.